Welcome back. You are live with Express as we continue to celebrate World Wildlife Day. And of course, that was officially celebrated yesterday on the 3rd of March. But we're going to continue that celebration of our beautiful wildlife and our heritage and everything we find in nature. So we've decided to play a little game of Know Your Collectives the Animal Edition, which is awesome. And how it works is you will see on the board eight words of collectives alongside animals. You can see that on the board, gents. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's making you nervous. Okay, let's see how perfect you really are, the five in uh, studio. You will need to pair the two together, and once you have gotten it matched correctly, I will then explain why they pair together. So, I, obviously, I have the answers here. None of them, none of them I knew beforehand. So, I, uh, you guys, <laughs> it's going to be tough. Parliament. Wow. <laughs> exactly. And, and it's animals, eh? a parliament of animals, not, not, not anything else. Okay, so I'm going to go from word to word word and we're just going to see where we go. All right, so we're going to start with the word bloom. Any guesses there which um. animal or insect <laughs> comes in a collective of a bloom? bloom? Is it a zebra, a bloom of zebras? Um, that sounds crazy. Definitely not. Um, guys? Um, guys? Um, a, a bloom of wild um, No. Uh. You think? I what, what, isn't it, what's isn't pretty? It, what looks pretty geese, when like, you see it walking on a little flower? Maybe, a little, looks, maybe, maybe geese? Maybe geese? No? It would be a good would guess. Be, would be a good no. guess, but it's yeah. not. It's not? It's I had to help you. So draw us a line there from bloom to ladybird. No pressure. Very cute, eh? It's cute, Alex. Come on, man. I thought that was a great line. <laughs> Somebody can draw a, a perfect circle or a straight line is crazy. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. Okay, so let's move on to our next word. This one you should know, guys. This is actually one I did know. A gaggle. What do you get? A gaggle uh, of? of? A gaggle of zebra. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's... Uh... Is... Sorry, Mom. I yeah, I know. I every teacher you've ever geese? had is just shaking the head. A gaggle of so, geese? geese? Gaggle of geese it is, Alex. Give us the line. Well done. <laughs> well done um, so when geese get together, they can get quite noisy and quite rowdy, which is why they call it a gaggle. Okay, really nice. And an interesting word before we move on with a, a bloom. A giant cloud appeared um, on a new uh, uh, NWS weather satellite, and after a bit of investigation, it turned out that it actually happened to be thousands of little red and black insects um, at flight at the same time and it stretched for 10 miles. Could you imagine seeing that? That's a lot sure. of ladybirds. Um, so that's why we call it a bloom. <laughs> okay, let's move on to a dazzle. Oh, yeah, what dazzles you? Oh, zebra. Boom. Hey, did you actually know that? It was yeah. <laughs> no, I knew that, actually. Really, man? <laughs> you must do all the answering from now on. No. Draw it, man. Draw it. <laughs> um, some zoologists think zebras use their stripes as camouflage, in fact, to confuse predators. So when they get together in a big group, obviously those lines merge. Um, and they, they obviously make it really hard to pick out the individuals. Um, this one, uh, I think, is actually quite simple when you... When you think about it, mm -hmm. a bloat, a bloat. Yeah. He posts. Oh, he posts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. um, reason why they are called a bloat because they have something to do with their large bloated bodies. Mm, yes. Perhaps oh, yes. draw the line, man. Draw the line. <sighs> well done. Hey. Well done, guys. You're learning something. Please, you must remember these and use them in conversation. <laughs> people say you look really, really intelligent. Okay, this one is, is probably the most interesting of the lot. Uh, yes. A parliament. What that. animal comes in a collective of a parliament? Tra it's quite stately. Owl. Owl, yeah. Owl? It is owl. It is an owl. It is. Did you know that? Or was that just... <laughs> yeah, no, no, it is owl. <laughs> Did you study like zoology <laughs> or, or biology? <laughs> so yes, it is. In fact, a parliament of owls, they are typically considered to be quite intelligent and wise. Are these things that we would attach to parliament? In ancient Greek <laughs> mythology, the owl was seen to accompany or represent Athena, the goddess of wisdom, in fact. So you can draw a line from parliament oh, to owl. Oh. Well done. Now, this one is quite cool. <laughs> A, a confusion of band members, I'm going to say. It's a confusion of band members. <laughs> but, um, so now, obviously, your, your, your answers are, are, are starting to become a bit more limited. Yes. Yeah. Is a confusion of wildcats, a confusion of wildebeest, or a confusion of giraffe? What do you think? Wild wildebeest. wildebeest. 
Zoology. And I'm not, I'm not giving you all <laughs> answers here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Mr. Zoology. Um, Wildcats or wildebeest? What do you, give me an answer. Come on, man. What do you think? Wildebeest. Wildebeest. Because they are wild. wild it is indeed. It's a confusion of wildebeest due to the noise oh and the confusion that ha happens Gosh. when these animals get together and migrate. Have you seen the great migration? It's insane. So you can draw a line there, Alex. Well done. Confusion of wildebeest. Um, this one kind of gives it away. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. A tower of? Yeah. Cheropes, yeah. Cheropes, yeah. It has to be drawn. A line, and of course, we know they are um, the incredibly long necks that are very much resembling a tower, which means the it's, a dis one, though. it's a destruction <laughs> of wow, oh, okay. yes. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give me your, your mascot animal. I'm so glad uh, this gave me stand. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys did actually incredibly well. Yes. Um, so, wild or feral cats who don't live with humans can be quite territorial, they fight like mad, and they are known to really punch above their weight class, and they can be very destructive. So they are a destruction of wildcats. Hey, yes. wow. now guys, you can use these in conversation and appear to be so much more intelligent oh, yes, than you yes. actually are. That's what I'm going to do. That's the secret to the yeah. show. <laughs> so I just take what the expert before I interviewed said and then I, I pass it on as my own intellectual property. But gentlemen, there we have it. The collectives of these animals. Maybe you guys have picked up something that you didn't know at home. Gentlemen, you've been amazing. You were almost as good as this game as you, you were performing <laughs> uh, for us this morning. But we, we can't wait to see the boys perform one more time for you at home and hopefully you've taken on board just more of how amazing the resource our natural resource of our wildlife actually is